Welcome back to Lambition Studios. Today I have another Unreal Engine 5.1 tutorial for you. So in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to add water to your project and I also showed you guys how to import assets from Quixel Bridge and how to add collision to those objects so you can actually run into them. Today we're going to be talking about foliage. If you don't know what foliage is, it's just the grass and trees and rocks and other things that you put on your map to fill out your landscape. So we're just going to open up our island map that we created in our last tutorial. If you don't have your island map still and you just want to put this on another landscape, that's totally fine. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to put it on your landscape. To get to your island map, you just go to third person, maps, and island test map. So more than likely, you're not going to have any trees or anything that you can actually use in this project yet. You're going to actually have to download these assets or create them yourself. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to import those assets from the Epic Games Marketplace. And I'm going to show you guys how to put those in the foliage tool and use them for your landscape. So to get started, we want to find some trees and some grass. So we're actually going to open up the Epic Games Marketplace. Go to Marketplace on the Epic Games browser, and we're just going to search for products, and we're going to search for trees. Okay. And then, of course, you can come down to Max Price, click Free, and you can pretty much choose whichever ones of these you want. Um, I'm going to go with the Mega Scans Trees Pack here just because it's probably the easiest one to show you guys. I and mean, you're just going to add to project and then click your project. We'll do Land Vision Studios Tutorials, which that's going to be this project that we're working on here. Add to project. And if you've already downloaded this before, you can always go to your library and scroll down to your vault and you'll see all of your assets that you can add to your projects there. So again, library, vault, and you can pretty much search for whatever add-on or asset that you want to add into your project. Now this is for the Epic Games Marketplace assets. This is not for your own assets, unless you've added them to the Marketplace store. All right, once your trees are loaded into your map, you're just going to go up to your foliage mode, which will be in your top left-hand corner and selection bar. Go to foliage, and we're just going to go to paint. So make sure paint is selected. And we're going to go down to add foliage. You should see your imported trees there. We're just going to click on this first one. As you can see, it adds to your foliage. You have other foliage here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Just select it. And press delete. Now you should just have your tree. Make sure to check this box so it knows that you're trying to use this tree. Once you have it in, it'll probably be preparing the shaders. Go ahead and let it do that. It might take a second. Okay, while that's loading, we're going to adjust some of the brush settings. So with brush size, this basically says what is the size of the foliage set going to be. Basically the circumference of where it's going to place the trees. So if you see I paint and you'll see it put a ton of trees down here. So basically it's stacking way too many trees. So we need to take down the paint density. So let's undo that. We'll take down the paint density. Let's bring it down to something like 0.1. So the way to adjust how many trees are actually put down is you're going to scroll down here. And you're going to make sure your tree is selected and go into its settings. Then you're going to go to density and we're just going to set to 1. Now you see when I press it, it's just going to put one tree down in certain instances in that circle. So now we have a ton of trees that we can place down super fast. Pretty neat. So if you don't want these trees you can always hit 
the undo button. So we can also make the size of these trees at random. So it makes it look even more realistic. So see how all the trees are the same size now. We're going to go down to scale X and we're going to set the max to something like four. And just start painting. As you see, some of these trees have gotten a lot bigger and some are smaller. Now you can adjust these sizes accordingly to however you want. I think these trees are a bit too big. So we're actually going to adjust the minimum as well. So we're going to set this to something like 0.6 and the max to 3. So now when I paint, I should have some good looking trees that are all different sizes. Now what if you wanted to add different styles of trees? We're just going to go up to foliage again and add another foliage. This time we're going to select a tree where we can see the branch to kind of get a better visual at the difference of the trees. So as you see, my tree is still selected. So when you paint, this tree will still be the active tree. We want to deselect this and select this one. Now you can select them both at the same time and paint multiple trees at the same time. All you have to do is select both at the same time, but we're just going to uncheck that. We just want this tree. So for the same thing, we're going to go to scaling, set the minimum to something like 0.6, set the maximum to something like 4, and set the density to something like 1. And just start painting. Now if we wanted to increase this density, we could. So let's increase the density to something like 10. And let's do the radius or brush size a lot smaller. So now that you see it's putting a lot more trees closer together. Keep in mind, you can only paint these on your landscape, so it will not work on an actual mesh. There are plenty of other tools that you can use to adjust this stuff. I will teach these in a more advanced tutorial later. This should be all you should need for now. So if you wanted to just apply single instances of these trees, you could do that as well. Just hit single, and it'll just place a tree wherever you press it. If you want to get rid of some of these trees, you can always select the Erase tool. And you'll see you'll get another brush. We'll adjust the brush size, make it a little bigger. You want to make sure whatever tree you want to erase is selected. And you can just erase. Now say you don't want it to erase that much, we can take down the brush size and density. Okay, so now you can see our island's kind of taking shape. And honestly, I'm really not even putting stuff together right. I just wanted to show you guys how to use these tools. And you can see the island looks pretty decent still. Okay, 
So now we need to add some grass. So we're going to open up our nifty little Quixel Bridge. If you don't know how to use Quixel Bridge, make sure you check out my last tutorials. They have a great explanation on how to use this asset browser. Alright, once you're in the Quixel Bridge asset browser, we're just going to look for grass. Go to 3D Planks. And ground cover. You'll we'll see I already have some grass downloaded. This is a great pack, uh, the tundra grass. I mean, basically they have all the different kinds of grass you'll need for your foliage. So just click download. Now if you notice my shaders and stuff uh, and the graphics look different as far as the textures look a lot worse now. That's because I took the engine scalability down so I could make my project faster to work in. If you don't know how to do that, I showed you guys that in a previous tutorial. Be sure to check that out. I'll leave it up in the top right hand corner. Make sure you click add. Alright, once your grass shaders and stuff and everything's ready and loaded in, we're just going to go back up to our foliage tab. And we're going to go to add foliage. It may have already added all of these grass assets here. If they did and you don't want them all there, just delete them. You can just add them back here. And we're just going to go down until we see tundra grass. And you can pretty much select whichever one you want. So make sure the grass is selected and make sure the trees are not selected. If you want, you can add two different kinds of grass to kind of fill it out with different styles of grass. So when you see when you paint, grass is very separated and very small. Now, some people might want that. But for us, I just want to show you guys how to get it more dense and taller grass. I'm going to just use one for now just to show you. With your grass selected, we're going to come down to its details. Let's set the painting density to something like 500. Now you can see it's much more dense, but it's still a little short. Alright, for scaling, I want you to turn your max to something like 4. And paint again. Now, as you can see, it's much more dense. might be a little bit too dense, but just to show you that you can change the density of how much grass is put there. All right, as you can see, I have some pretty good grass. 151,000 grass in here. That's way too much. That's way too much. It's going to be way too big for your project file. It's going to make everything lag a lot, so we're going to have to take this down quite a bit. So just select it and right mouse button and go to remove. Yes, we want to remove these instances. So let's add the grass again. Let's turn the density, let's find it 100. And the scaling will turn to 4. Make sure that when you're painting, you're not overlapping your old spots too much. I'll just save you some. See, we've cut it down to like 59,000. We pretty much covered this whole beach. And that still might be too much, but this is just for tutorial purposes. So if you want to cut that down even more, you can just adjust those settings. I'll do a more advanced tutorial later on on the subject. Now you see I have plenty of grass. It still fills out my level. That will bring us to the end of our tutorial today. We added some trees and grass, of course. This is the foliage tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, stay tuned for my next tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.